football officially starts tonight. Today's the first Thursday night game. And I need to remind you guys, fellas, for those of you that participate in fantasy sports, let's keep using our brains during this time. Unlike this guy who gave away some of our secrets. Look at this. When he can't plan anything but plans a whole draft party. You guys, letting the wives know that we can actually plan things. Clearly, that's a pretty extravagant little plan there. Now we all got to start planning stuff? Thank you. Thank you for letting that secret out. Boys, I know it's an exciting time of the year, but let's not forget. We, we got to keep the secrets, man. Stop it. Use your brains, boys. Happy Thursday. Welcome to this education and welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. Are you in this situation? Wives out there. Is your husband, is your boyfriend... Is he obsessed with football? Fellas, are you sitting there every Sunday, you know, trying to check the box scores, check your lineups? It's that time of year, for better or for worse. So today, usually we don't have punishments, but today, fellas, if you laugh, you lose. You have to drop all of your leagues. Ladies, if you laugh, you lose. You have to join a league. That's what you got to do. You got to participate, fully participate this year. If you're ready for today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell click for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's very, very important game. Try not to laugh, go. Oh yes. And so they go out and they need to feed their child and they don't have money. So you maybe have to, they're put in a position where they feel like they either need to shop with some bread or go hungry that night. Shoplift some bread. <laughs> Great edit. What is this? A freaking fancy clothes shop? Mm. Stealing bread. I think there's probably a small fraction of people that steal to eat, but the clips we've seen recently, it's not the case at all. Why do you live in Minnesota? Minnesotans. Family, 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 <laughs> family, 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 yeah. family. Family. This is literally my wife and I. Why do you live in Minnesota? Why are you paying the extra 10% insane taxes? The extra percent and a half on payroll tax that's coming up. Why do you live in this insane, crazy place? Family. Plain and simple. That's it. Family. Reasons you should have a baby. They are cute as <laughs> Reasons you shouldn't have a baby. This is a shit stain on my favorite blue shirt. <laughs> Dude. You listen to the morning show. 828, the intro. Maybe I'll clip it out and put it somewhere. This happened to me at a wedding, I swear to God. So yes, uh, <laughs> it's part of it, man. It's part of it. <laughs> when my sister and her trashy boyfriend finally break up. What the hell? Is it the whole family dancing? Those are your parents? <laughs> She's freaking mortified. Uh Apparently the sister likes it too. Do you have a situation like that at home? Is your kid, grandkid, are they dating just a loser? And then when you're, you're just crossing your fingers for them to break up? <clears throat> dude, I'm so thirsty, dude. We have to be quiet. <laughs> dude. Get some WD on them sons of bitches. Come on, man. You're going to wake up mom. Mom and dad. You sitting? Are you staying at grandma's for the weekend? When I wait till round seven to draft a QB. You're going to live with me now. <laughs> Dude. I'm going to take care of you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Great clip. Did you guys wait till round seven to draft a QB? I feel like if you're getting Kirk in round seven, that's not the worst thing. He's going to have 40 touchdowns, 5,000 yards. Everyone knows that. Uh, Vikings are going to win the Super Bowl. Everyone knows that. Screenshot this. Video recorded. I, whatever you have to do, that's going to happen. If you got Kirk in the seventh round, congrats. Watching my husband's location after he said he's working late. Oh, no, dude. Ooh. Dude. We got a lot of people ruining it. For all of us. Ruining it for everybody. You got the guy in the beginning planning a draft party, like a pretty extravagant one. Now we have to plan stuff too. And you got this guy pretending to work late and he's out golfing. Mm. 
Mm, you got location on your phone, dude. What are you doing? Now, if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as, as talented as white kids. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. I st that's a real clip. That's a real, real guy in power right now. And people think he's totally with it and he's just a great guy. Actually, I've met them. Um, moving on. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth talking about anymore. It really isn't. This is how you know your house is built right. Oh, my. Oh, my. With the Gary Busey. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're gonna get canceled, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say, like, if you walk in and there's a Modelo or any beer in the middle of your constructed home being constructed, I've got some worries. I did this during my mom's Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. Uh, you know what? Shame on you, but I gotta see the reaction here. He's on call with the freaking team lead, man. What are you doing? CEO, bruh. She got fired because of you. Point of view, chiropractor's on my For You page. Yep, right there. Deep breath. Hold still. <laughs> a lot of tension there. Deep breath. I'm not going to lie. I, I have a, you know, you guys know I, I have a fear of flying. I, not even a fear of flying. I just don't like it. I don't like to do it. I, hate, I just don't like flying. I do have a fear of going to the chiropractor. I've been there like one time in my life. Um, I've heard some really bad stories, misalignments, blah, blah, blah. Do we have any chiropractors watching? I just, I don't know, I, I got a fear. Should I be fearful? What are we looking at here? Shut up. Gr no, 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 no. Garage, garage sale. They sounded it out. You know, hopefully your third grade daughter or son made the sign. Garage. Oh. Oh. Hit up that garage sale. I, I have a feeling things are going to be mispriced. Don't ask me why, but I, it might be worth going to take a look at. You never know. For a job that took four years to get a degree. That took four years to get a degree for. Yeah. Nine bucks an hour. Maybe you should have gotten a minor in economics and done some research on the job market before you paid for a four-year degree that's only worth nine dollars an hour mm. i have to agree you know i just I, I hate college students that complain about their post-college life i will say there's a lot of misguidance teachers guidance counselors parents that say hey this is a great idea to dig, get a degree in you know underwater basket weaving in the 19th century in women's rights like why did you get a degree in that? The only job you can get is being a professor of that that art, whatever, that stupid degree you got. So anyways, um, yeah, it's your fault. Quit complaining about it on TikTok. I can't tell a moose to move. And man, there's two moose out here fighting by my damn truck. Tell him to move, baby. Did you guys see this? The hell I'm gonna say to a moose, what's wrong with you? They fell on him. Oh my God. Tell him to move. I can't tell a moose to move. Tell them to move. Hope they don't get it All right, there's no way this is a live commentary, but anyway, it's funny. Thing. Don't tell them to move. Pretty wild. Shut up, yeah. Man. Get out the back of my truck. Get out the back. <laughs> They're going to listen, man. Oof, hope you got insurance, man. Moose insurance, they call it. Up in Alaska. Northern Minnesota, way up there. They got the moose, too. The disrespect. Nice, nice G. Ooh, throw the. <laughs> That's what happens. Shouldn't have thrown your stick at him in the first place. You idiot. The gum wall in Seattle. So they definitely make it seem like this is like a cute, like fun, touristy thing. This is an alley. We're in an alley, and there's just a lot of gum oh. on the walls. This ain't cute. Dude, I would be, like, worried to breathe that air. And how did that ever become a thing? Well, there's the bridge that has the locks on it. Is it a bridge? That's kind of cool. I like that. But when you're... You got literally 
tens of thousands of people's gum, germs. And yeah, it, it's like in the middle of nowhere. What the hell, dude? Have you guys been here? Anyone? Inflation is declining. Here's why your groceries are still so expensive. Declining. But here's why your groceries are still so expensive. And I'm like, yeah, they are telling us. All right, this is the dumbest f TikTok I've ever seen. If you have an apple and that apple costs a dollar and then inflation says it goes up 50%, that apple then costs a dollar 50. If inflation goes down to 3%, then it's only going up 3%. Inflation going down doesn't mean the price will go back down to a dollar. It only means that it'll go up less. <laughs> it's gonna be a dollar 53 or some sh You're not gonna have lower prices. It can only go up. Things are only gonna get more expensive. You know what? It's, it's a good thing to show everyone before we get to this insane election cycle. Because that inflation's going down, but yes, prices are still going up. On top of all the huge price increases we've already had, it's going to keep going up. That's how inflation works. But they try to spin it to make it sound better, right? But that's what politicians do. They're scumbags. Anyways, good video. Great video. Remote employees every two minutes. This is why a lot of companies, even Zoom, Zoom is making people come back into the office because they're not as productive. So that's a true headline. But this guy's doing it wrong. They, they actually make a thing that moves your mouse pad for you. That's real. Get with it, man. This is no joke. We got a lot of people, you know, doing things the hard way. We got, just got the guy working from home on the beach. Could have had the mouse pad mover. Left the computer in his room. Shake out the rug. You ever heard of shaking out the rug? You don't have to do this, man. Real or cake? Good, hard to tell, man. Hard to tell. That's a show. Like, it's a real show on Netflix. Real or cake? They, they, how did this become a thing? Why is this so popular? This is stupid. This is funny, though, making fun of it. Toddlers for literally no reason. <laughs> dude. Dude. Well, I don't know why toddlers do this, but they do. They have to like go around the entire room, inspect everything, pull everything out of the toy drawer, get into stuff they're not supposed to get into, and then dump everything out. It's just a th I don't know why. Oh, so you think you want to move to Arizona? One second. So I'm making breakfast and I just woke up and I'm like, what is that? That's weird. Like, Dude. Okay. I'm just going to put that back actually. I'm just going to, yep. I thought it was going to be a video of like, people complaining about the heat in Arizona. You've never been to Arizona. Arizona so hot. Oh yeah, I know it's a desert. Okay, but anyways, this is more terrifying than the heat. Freaking snake skin in your house? Where's the snake? That's the terrifying part. Where is it? Go have fun sleeping. That's one way to find out the gender of your baby. You gonna miss it or something? Ooh. The sign, man. Don't do a gender reveal for your next kid. Stop. Stop doing this. I sit next. I'm, I'm no pissed. Oh, sh Eddie. What? There were a thousand? No. What? That's how much you just paid. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, sh <laughs> She just bought thousand dollar tickets each. Dude, are like, are these resellers or Taylor Swift's not charging a thousand a ticket, is she? If she is, that's a crime. And I guess people are willing to pay it, but dude, it's kind of messed up. When you use a hundred percent of your brain. It's about to get robbed here. Get him now. Oh, hell yeah. 
Get out of here. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, you know, for a couple bucks, pretty spendy defense mechanism there, but it worked. Screw these people. Spray them. I was not ready. Watch till the end. A 22-year-old man died at the hospital. Another resident who moved in a few months ago says he's now concerned about safety. I'm going to start carrying my pistol. You know, if we're in the wild, wild west, somebody need to let me know. Witnesses said a friend... I think that was real. <laughs> that was real. He <laughs> died at the hospital. Another resident who moved it. in a few months ago says he's now concerned about safety. I'm going to start carrying my pistol. You know, if we're in the wild, wild west, somebody need to let me know. License to carry, man. Not a bad idea. <laughs> <Next>. <laughs> or you just spray him with the gas like the previous guy. Not sure it's an actual violation, but looks like it should be. Dude, what? Ah, uh, generally, I, you know, OSHA, these stupid rules that uh, they put in place, blah, 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 against that. This, it looks like someone might get hurt here. I'm just going to say that. It looks like someone might get hurt. A damn half I'm Sam or whatever. It don't matter to me because I'm about dead anyway. So That's what so I give a sh Yo, Come on. Come on. The teacher told kids to draw their mom's hobbies. My mom likes drinking. If that's what your kids think, you know, there's a difference between being one of the the wine snobs that, you know, swirls it around and sniffs it and, uh, d like, tastes it, that's a, maybe a little different. But if you're just chugging from the box wine, man, and then your kids are drawing pictures of you at school, it might be a sign. Maybe not. I don't know. Us thinking my mom was taking sexy, cute pictures. I mean, she looks like she is. <laughs> the pictures. <laughs> Uh, you know, it does look like she's taking a selfie. I got to say that. But now we got a, a picture of seagulls. So there you go. Steve Kerr's son hired as a head coach. Congratulations to Steve Kerr's son, Nick, for getting the Santa Cruz Warriors head coaching job. After going by Nick for the past 31 years of his life, Steve Kerr's son has coincidentally decided to go by Nicholas now. Whatever his reasons may be, broadcasters across America are just thrilled by this news as they no longer have to fear for their lives of losing their job and quite possibly destroying their lives simply because they said his previous full name in a hurry. Of course, his previous full name was Nick. Spacebar, Kerr. Actively avoiding inappropriately Dude. mispronouncing someone's name on national television <laughs> is something that broadcasters do on a daily basis and a nightmare situation they hope they never face. So, Nicholas, Dude. broadcasters across America salute you as their plates are completely full at the moment. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's it. Yeah. Their plates are full. Yes. But that's his name. That's his name. Um, It seems obvious, though. You don't. You wouldn't name a kid, if the last name is Kerr, you wouldn't name the kid Nick. I just, may, I, people's choices are weird, man. Would you eat this? Gee, oh my, that kind of actually scared me. Dude, look at the teeth on that thing. Would I eat that? Are you kidding me? Uh, no, of course not. But hey, don't be culturally insensitive, folks. People do eat this. I mean, I don't know how you eat it. It's going to chomp your lip when it comes in. Joe Biden giving $700 to Hawaiians per household. Authorized one-time payments of $700 per household to folks who have been displaced so they can do the immediate things. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What's this? This ain't enough. Make it enough. <laughs> Make it enough. Oh, by the way, we're giving billions overseas elsewhere, so... Nice little middle finger to the Hawaiians. Public school. Is that a block of cheese? What the hell? 
I I guess, man. I guess if you like cheese, you can do that, but it's better than a stick of butter, I suppose. This 1v1 is absolute chaos. Come on, man. Score it in. Kick it in, boy. Oh, hell. Oh, come on. Oh, dude. You can't... What the... That's pretty embarrassing, I have to say. Where's messy when you need him, man? When you lie on your job interview. Yeah, hey, Moose, are you comfortable being up on the roof? I'm used to this, but I'm not even scared. <laughs> Don't lie, man. Especially if you're going to be dealing with heights, dude. You can't hide it. When you try to steal $2,200 in power tools at Home Depot in broad daylight, but then get tackled in hogtied by good Samaritans. Dude, what? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> They're gonna hogtie him. You know what? Here's the sad part about this. Here's the sad part. Is that person's gonna go walk free, especially if you're in California. The police... But not the police in, uh, they're just following the orders they're given by the people who make the laws the state they're gonna say oh, we don't we don't charge those people anymore and they're gonna go free that's what happens and maybe even get to keep the twenty two hundred dollars in stolen power tools you never know props to you guys though that's how things change <laughs> you make these people afraid to steal stuff me with hr after calling out sick to go on a vacation for four weeks you had three heart operations, you <laughs> suffered two cardiac arrests, you died <laughs> twice on the operating table, mm -hmm. you had a stroke, mm -hmm. and you were diagnosed with an operable brain tumour and given four months to live. Correct. You can't lie, ma'am. You can't lie. You're probably posting about it on social media too, aren't you? Boys asking if I'm in for the fourth tea time this week. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, dude, four tea times in one week. Is it during your work hours or in the evening? Because, yeah, dude, she's going to be pissed. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Activists glue themselves to the wrong tank. Oh, we've had this one. Just I know this, but this is just classic for anyone that's not seen it. Have to, have to rehash this. What, what, are they, what are they achieving? Well, what they're saying is they want maximum disruption to stop the government extracting oil and gas. Yeah, but that's cooking oil. <laughs> They ain't the brightest bulbs. They ain't the brightest bulbs out there. We know that. Uh, speaking of which, speaking of activists, here we go. Sitting in the middle of the road. What's this guy doing? Ooh, haven't seen this one. Ooh. Uh, called for? Uncalled for? What do you guys think? Every health science podcast. The first thing you want to do when you wake up is run at a full sprint, staring directly at the sun. This will help uh, reset your Tarkanian rhythm and regenerating your Heineken levels. Um, I would recommend uh, running towards a body of water, uh, preferably salt water. Um, Meta-analyses have uh, concluded that uh, human contact um, between the skin of a, a human's fingers and uh, a live great white shark is uh, critical for your schmoogenflugen. Health podcasts, financial podcasts, the, the lifestyle podcast, man, out of control. Great impression. Um, everyone just shut up. On those podcasts, just shut up. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at any of these clips? Because if you did, Fellas, you got to get rid of all of your fantasy football leagues. I know it's supposed to start tonight, but you lost. You have to get rid of them. Drop out. Drop all your players. And ladies, you have to join a team or co-manage a team somehow. That's what you got to do. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. This is Education. 12, 15. Oops, stepping on them. There's a... It's black, anyway. Idiots.